electron microscopy technical session and exploration to the invisible world beyond human eye to satiate the basic needs of food and shelter the animal kingdom is endowed with five basic senses smell taste sight touch and hearing homo sapiens extended the limits of most of the senses by application of technology in order to quench its innate thirst for knowledge out of the five sight was extended the most with the help of instruments like telescopes to see beyond the farthest limit of the universe and microscope to see through the smallest which i cannot perceive and aid it seeing is believing until the 16th century it was not possible to see the microorganism inhibited water air soil and even curd milk etc which are beyond the limit of perception of naked eye the eye can see objects as small as 0.1 mm in size and if one want to see objects smaller than this i need to be assisted by a device that impresses on retina of the eye a larger image of the object electron microscopes are widely used as an indispensable tool for research and development and has a central role to play in pathology environmental science forensic science industrial development quality control molecular biology genetic engineering and many other high tech fields concerned with semiconductors and other materials the contribution from electron microscopy to material science has led to development of new materials ranging from lightweight high strength alloys for space applications to heavy weight alloys like lead shielding uranium and zirconium alloys for nuclear reactors corrosion resistant soft austenic stainless steel to hard and brittle martensitic stainless steel super alloys and super plastic alloys etc the conventionally brittle ceramic and intermetallics have been made super plastics by reducing their grain size to nanometer scale as a result of the understanding of dynamic interactions of various material defects under stress and temperature with the help of electron microscopy techniques equally impressive applications in industry has been in development of electron beam lithography this has brought in vital revolution in bringing down the size of ic chips development in one field leads to development in other areas it is intertwined comparison between optical microscope and electron microscope until early 40s of 20th century objects less than 2 microns could not be seen with the development in electron microscope technology it is now possible to visualize the arrangement of atoms in molecules in this era of rapidly expanding science and technology the science scientists and engineers must observe analyze and correctly explain the phenomena occurring on nanometer or sub nanometer scale now let us see the difference between scanning electron microscope and optical microscope the illuminating beam is electron beam in sem while light beam in optical microscope we use vacuum as the medium in sem while atmosphere in optical microscope lens is electron lens the other is optical lens 
resolution of secondary electron image is 6 to angstrom while for optical microscopes if we are using visible light it is 2000 angstrom ultraviolet 1000 angstrom the depth of field is 30 micrometer while the depth of field is 0.1 micrometer magnification is 10 times to 1 lakh 80,000 times continuous but in the case of optical microscope it is from 10 times to 2000 times by changing lens the focusing here done is using electrical mechanism while in optical microscope mechanical arrangements should be made obtainable images are secondary electron images backscattered images etc but in optical microscope we can get transmitted and reflected images the contrast of SEM gives geometrical shape physical and chemical properties while in optical microscope the contrast is a result of absorption and reflection of light that is color and brightness and we use a CRT monitor in SEM while direct observation or screens projection is done in optical microscope. What is electron microscopy? Electron microscopy is a science of understanding the microstructure properties and subsequent characterization of materials and the cause of advancement of science in every other area macroscopy properties and behavior of substances are controlled by chemical structures and the process that takes place at spatial scale of micrometer to nanometer hence it is worth correlating the chemical constitutions with properties for example it is now postulated that titanic sank because of the brittle failure of steel rivets due to the presence of a fraction of a person too much sulfur caused easy separation of the hull plates upon the impact with the iceberg. Ductile rivets would have bent and fewer plates would have come apart and we would have been deprived of several great movies. Who is an electron microscopist? An electron microscopist is one who is able to examine the properties of material and characterize them based on its microstructure. An electron microscopist must be familiar with latest specimen preparation techniques suitable for each specimen to be studied. Now let us talk a little bit of history. In 1897, J.J. Thompson described the existence of negatively charged particle called electrons. In 1925, de Broglie theorized that electrons have wave-like characteristics addressing the wave-particle duality. Thomson, that is G.P. Thomson and Raid demonstrated the wave nature of electron by diffraction experiments. In 1931, Ruska built the first electron microscope and he was awarded Nobel Prize in 1986. We will come to the basic theory soon. We shall close this session by a quote by Erwin Schrodinger. That the task is not so much to see what no one has yet seen, but to see what nobody has yet thought about that which everybody sees.